Hi again, boys and girls. Crazy Daddy here with another project with the Roborock machine. Uh, one of the biggest problems uh, I have had with the Roborock is the sensor, the cliff sensors, and it cannot cross black lines. For some reason, uh, most uh, robot vacuum cleaners do not uh, allow the vacuum cleaners to cross lines. The sensors detect it as a drop and therefore it gets stuck. As you can see, I have carpets in my house and they are a problem and I need them vacuumed because I have lots of dogs running around in the house. So let's look at this. Uh, these are the sensors that are the culprit. One, two, three, four of them. Now, what happens is the sensors uh, detect a black line or a cliff. Uh, so when it goes over a step, it, the sensors detect there's a drop and therefore it uh, does not uh, cross it and it sees anything dark or black. It detects that as a drop because the light is not reflected and therefore it cannot uh, uh, cross the line and uh, you will have problems with that with dark carpets. So today I'm going to tell you how to overcome that. I have seen videos where they actually put pieces of paper stuck here like this. I did try that. Uh, it worked for a while and then it started giving problems, sensor errors, uh, sensor dirty uh, uh, errors and after a while it just stops. So it does not last long. I have seen some innovative uh, YouTube videos on how better to put those stickers but I'm going to show you a way uh, that I think is better and more permanent. Okay, as usual, uh, I'm trying to show you the theory behind it and who knows, some of you may come up with something even more innovative than this. Uh, please feel free to comment and let me know. So let's talk about those sensors and what causes this problem. Now the sensors look something like this. So within the sensors, there are two LEDs. One is an emitter and one is a receiver. So what happens is these uh, LEDs, normally the uh, one will be black and one will be white. Uh, so normally what happens is this uh, emitter may, will throw out a light, it will hit a surface and then it will go bounce back and hit that. Now if there's a cliff or there's uh, nothing, it hits a step, it's not going, it's going to emit the light and it's not going to bounce back and therefore it detects a cliff or a step and therefore it backs away from that area. Now what happens is if there is something, if there is a black line on the ground such as a carpet, it absorbs all the light. Now it may be a line on your wooden floor, it may be a blip, uh, a scar on your a wood, it may be a black pattern on your tile, what have you, that black does not reflect light and therefore it detects black lines and there's no bounce back to the other uh, receiver and it uh, sees that as a fall and backs away. So therefore you are not able to cross a black line, it's that simple. Now if it's a normal line, if it's something uh, not black, what happens is this light, uh, it emits and it bounces back and it tells this sensor that all is okay and it keeps going. Now if you stick a paper, so let me just draw that again. If you have again your sensor and if you stick a paper right, so it, this is your thing again and let's move this here. Now, if you do decide to go with a paper method and you stick it right uh, at this level, it's not going to work. Why? Is when the paper is right here, what happens is it ignores what's below this, what's below, it doesn't see the floor. It just looks at the paper, it continues seeing that and it bounces it back. Here. So when you stick a paper underneath the sensor, it works that way, everything is fine. But per chance if, you, if it's pushed in or you stick it right onto the lens right here, it comes here and it does not get to bounce back to the emitter 
it is this receives a, a receiver this does not receive a, a signal it thinks it, you've hit a cliff and therefore you'll go get an error the vacuum cleaner is not going to move at all so the problem with uh, stick, putting a paper here is after a while sometimes this gets dusty or the paper gets torn off on the side as it goes over carpets or what have you or you may even just have uh, dirt accumulating here and it causes a problem after some time so what we are going to do is we are going to find these emitters this for these four sensors we are going to remove them and we are going to put them facing each other we are going to throw away these sensors remove them totally we are going to put them together and then we are going to put them in a little container and stick them together permanently this thing here can be a straw it can be a rubber tube it can just even be taped up together but once you have this here uh, you've solved the problem so that is what we are going to do now I have considered do I want to cut this off uh, cut the wires and try something even more fancy but I decided against it uh, what the, the robot system is looking for is feedback that means it sends out a signal this receives it it may do other things to check on it to make sure that they are working and if it uh, doesn't so uh, just removing it or removing the signal totally uh, does not uh, seem like the right move to do it may actually cause the whole system to just shut down and not work so over to practical let me remind you first that what I'm about to do definitely voids the warranty so uh, beware uh, do it at your own peril and liability obviously um, okay I'm not going to show you all the steps of opening up a Roborock and uh, you might as well clean it on the way uh, as you do this uh, because I already have a video in this channel please look that up it'll show you how to give your Roborock a good clean uh, and you should do that while you're in there so I'm going to just explain to you uh, the four parts you will see the four sensors that I uh, spoke about you can kind of just use your uh, finger and just pull them out I'm just showing you pictures of them right now so that uh, it's a bit easier to uh, for you to see the exact parts that you're going to work with so just slip them out and you will find four of them uh, you'll need a little Phillips uh, sorry a little flat head screwdriver a test pen works well the sensors come out you, uh, you use the test pen and you just kind of flick it open and there's a little uh, knob between the clear side and the black uh, plastic and it opens up and you get uh, to see the two sensors sitting there they kind of slide out uh, nicely from the uh, sensor that you pulled out uh, that part I'm, uh, you are not going to put back or I didn't put back I just put them aside and uh, it's not going to be used again uh, now you do that for each of the uh, four sets of sensors uh, I use a bit of electrical uh, uh, tubing uh, and I put the, both the LEDs in together and uh, clean them up uh, you know you, I get a nice seal on it uh, feel free to use a straw or even a, a rolled up piece of paper or cardboard but make sure that they are straight they are not bent uh, otherwise you may lose the transmission you still may get that if it's slightly bent because the nature of the LED lights is to bounce off uh, surfaces uh, I make four of these uh, and then I, I just slot them underneath the PCB board and then uh, that's it uh, uh, put them back together you'll have obviously additional parts as you uh, get going but uh, that should do it uh, you will be able to uh, run your cleaner but mind you after you do this it may fall off a staircase uh, or uh, it's not going to detect any faults anymore I do not mind that so much because I have uh, put on uh, virtual walls and uh, no-go zones uh, and I do I, I do not want the machine to detect that so it will happily uh, travel up all over without uh, worrying about black lines uh, anymore okay so this is the unit I use for the carpets you will notice that the sensors one two three four is now gone 
and I've also removed the side brush. I find this uh, spinning brush uh, not very useful when it's uh, running on the carpet, so I've, I've disabled and neutralized the sensors. Works like a charm. Now the I've also removed this because it uh, gets it just slows it down. I run the carpet uh, vacuum cleaner on max, so it does a great job cleaning the carpets and problem solved. It, uh, it's been running like this for a few months, absolutely no issues, nice clean carpets, not a fur on the carpet every morning and uh, hope it works well for you too.